Now, in this lecture, we are going to learn how to install Fiber Studio. The first thing you need to do is head to any browser, Google Chrome, and search for highrise.game. From highrise.game, go to create, and in create, you are going to navigate to Hi-Res Studio, and then if you are on Mac, this would show Mac, but if you're on Windows, this is showing Windows. So you have to click on download for Windows. Now, once the install is done, click on the downloads and open Studio Hub Installer. Now choose the directory where you want to put the folder or the file, click next and create a desktop shortcut and then next again and install. Wait for this to install and click on launch Hybrid Studio Hub and finish. Now once Hybrid Studio is loaded, you can see here I have a bunch of projects because I have already installed Studio before and I also have them marked as red, meaning that I don't have Unity. If you install Studio, this might not show, this might show for you. Or if it doesn't show, just go to getting started. And from here, we are going to install all the other tools that we need, including the Unity Hub, Unity Editor, and optionally, you can install Visual Studio Code if you are going to be coding. Now, let's install Unity Hub by hitting Start. And this will ask you to open the website, and I'm going to hit Yes. This will direct you to the Unity website. From here, you can download um, Unity Hub. Once the download is finished, open the installer, click I agree, then choose the file or folder, install, and wait for this to finish. Once that's done, you are going to run Unity Hub. So click finish. Unity Hub would open up, but first, don't install Unity Editor straight away because this is Unity 6, which we don't want. So we're gonna skip installation from here, and we are going to make sure that we are logged in. To make sure that you're logged in, click here, and then I'm logged in right now, but if you're not, you can see like a sign in and then it's going to direct you to the Unity website. And from there, you're going to log in. But for now, I'm going to go back to high res Studio. So I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to hit start install Unity Editor here. And this will ask you to install Unity Editor, this version, which is 2022 f one I'm going to hit install now and I will have to wait for this to finish. This might take a while, so just sit tight and wait for this to now once the install is done you're gonna hit ok and before I open any project before I do anything um, here it says that I have already installed Visual Studio Code but this is because I have it if you haven't installed it yet we are going to install it right now so you go back to Google Chrome and then you search for VS Code or just say VS Code download and go to the first one so download Visual Studio Code and you are going to hit download here and just follow the normal steps of any installation of any application just install that and keep it for um, later lectures now once that's done let's go back and we are going to configure something with the unity hub so i'm going to go back and open unity hub once you logged in and of course you logged in you're going to go to preferences and in preferences you are going to go to licenses and in licenses you are going to hit add and you are going to get a free personal license. You're going to click on that. I'm not going to do that because I already have one. But if you don't do this step, you won't step. You won't be able to create any project or even use Unity at all. So please make sure you create a new license and watch lecture two on how to create a project.